Welcome guys, it's an inbox time. Yeah, here you can see that kit that I will show you. It's a CR714 and so on, Valsovia. I bought that kit in Overlone at the beginning of the year, in May. And it was pretty cheap, it cost me only 3 euro 50 and I will show you why it is so cheap. Because, yeah. It's not the best kit. Normally it's not worth it to make an inbox review, but um, see it as a warning or just for amusement. So, it is a uh, kit from Master Hobby Kits Craft. And it's brand new. No, it isn't. And, uh, yeah, I think that is, uh, well, it is a Polish company. It's the site. View, one of the side views made in the European European community and you have the possibilities to make uh, several versions the Polish version a Finnish one French and the German one this is the box out of the Polish one now we have the scale here the size you can see it's only it has a length of 180 millimeters and 12 centimeters of wingspan and only 30 parts so the original plane was a shoulder of a no and was sold as was obvious to the Polish army. I think that means cyclone. Yeah, cyclone. So this is the other side. It's a B05 series. I don't know what that means, but it is. The other side. And back side you can you, here you can see some more planes some advertisement of them uh, mr. hobby kits yeah so let's take a look inside so here you can see shake it shake it baby there you are part one is stick in there so that's it. All parts of the play. So we have, let's start with the instructions. I think the instructions are pretty nice. For all Germans, um, whoever, who, the guy who wrote that, these instructions uh, wasn't able to speak German. It is, the, the British translation is fine. The German one is full of mistakes. For example, for those guys who speak German, Technischen Beschreibung is absolutely wrong. If you can't read it there, I will write it here. Yeah. And the British board cycle. Yeah, very. Yeah, I can't say something about the Polish and the French writing, but the German is catastrophe. Yeah, the, the box art is very nice. It's the same one. This art one is the same like this one over there. And the instructions are very clean and easy to understand. Nummerung der Teile. Also written wrong. And here's the box art. It's very clear to understand. It's not many parts. And yeah, looks fine, the, the instruction sheet. So well, that's the front side and what I really like is the back side you have the a colored paint scheme here. And we have the Polish version. I think I will build, when I start to build up I will build a Polish version. The German one without the swastikas. Very colorful. The Finnish one with Finnish swastikas, I, can't, I, I don't understand why Finnish swastikas are allowed and Germans not. Swastika, swastika in my eyes. And uh, the French version. Yeah, that's everything I can say about the instruction sheet. So, over there, we have one decal sheet. Decal sheets are not bad. I can't say how much they, uh, how good they stick on the kit, but they are not yellow. And they are not very thick. Yeah, they look fine from this point of view. We also have an 
extra decal sheet for the German version because of the swastika. They, it is forbidden to sell, uh, to show swastikas in Germany on the internet. So they cut this one in two halves, and when you're not in Germany, you are allowed to use them. And you can put them together, and you will get the swastika again. So, and another decal sheet, we have three of them, for the Finnish version, with the swastikas, Polish signs, or insignias, and the French insignias. And they look also very nice, you know, can't say something bad about them. So, let's take a closer look to the parts of the plane. Yeah, we have... Oh, what? Give me a second. Uh, we have one little sprue. The under, need the upper side of the wings, the underside of the wings, and yeah, the clear part. And trust me, that is not very clear. So let's take a closer look to the sprue. And here is the sprue. I hope you can see everything. The quality of the sprue is horrible. I already have to say that you have some flesh here, that's okay, you can remove that. But there are nearly no seam lines along the plane. There's one big, big ring or mark on this part here. I hope you can see it. The, yeah, the details are not very crisp, they are very, very soft. And as I said, it's normally not worth it to show you, but yeah, we do it. And here the are the other parts. The cover of the engine, the propeller, the very well designed and yeah, molded seat of the pilot. That's we haven't got some instrument panels, we haven't got decals for the for the instrument panel, that's everything of the cockpit seat. So I think you can also rem let it away because that, that's nothing. And yeah, that's the back side. The plastic is, that's yeah, normal plastic, it's fine. The plastic quality is fine, but I uh, can see everywhere so, so brownish stains from the molding. I think they use uh, a kind of grease so that the that the uh, plastic is not stick in the molding in the in the in, uh, in the forms so but uh, they haven't removed it and uh, are still there so you have to wash the complete kit before you can paint it yeah i can't show you more <laughs> on on the sprue so let's take a closer look on the other side there are no rivets no seam no Seam lines, nothing in there. A few dimples and that's it. Nothing more. And also some brown stains on it. The upper part is the same. You can see the rudders over there. And that's it. And you have a really messed up surface here on this part. So you have to sand that away. You have to rework everything on that kit. The underside, brown stains again. I think you will see that there. And uh, yeah, you know the worst part? The canopy. Here it is. You also have that flash here, but that's okay, you can remove it. And yeah, no frames for the windows. It's one big plastic part. And uh, it's scrapped. It's not, it's a bit milky, it's not very clear. So you have to rework that completely. I can't tell you something about the fitting because it isn't built. I never built one of that. I haven't seen a person who built a Mr. Hobby kit till now. Yeah. Make your own opinion about that kit. It costs only 3 euros or 3 euro 50, but I think you can spend that a bit better, that money. Yeah. That's everything I can show you about my kit. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, inbox review. It's very short, it's not a big kit, and um, I wish you a nice Sunday. 
because it's sunny at the moment and uh, we will see us on the next update. I think the next update is uh, again from my M4 EZ8. I still work on that and uh, yeah, this is this morning works of my side, so have a nice day.